Welcome back to my channel everyone. So today I'm going to be fitting some side body mouldings on my Volkswagen Transport T5. What I'm going to do is just walk you around the van and show you exactly what I'm going to be doing. So the idea is, is to fit plastic panels um, just on the sliding door and the driver's door and also obviously the passenger side so all the way around the van because when I'd done these arches um, at the time I never bothered getting the kit to do the bottom of the doors I didn't want to do it but now I've changed my mind so I'm going to be doing that as well um, I'll just walk you around the van and show you so the good thing about it is it gives the van more protection as well so you see people in car parks and stuff you know what they're like and um, they like to park like that close so by having them on as well not only is it going to make it look like a proper swamper it's going to um, protect the doors a bit so the idea is, is to get the van clean first because it needs to be really clean in order for the panels to stick on properly and then I'm going to show you how they are fitted and um, yeah do a bit of a like before and after at the end so um, yeah I hope you enjoy this video keep watching I'm going to take the van to the car wash now um, get it nice and clean and then move on from there Yeah, so with fitting like plastic trims, even like the wheel arches and things, you always have to make sure it's clean because if you get like dust and grit and stuff um, behind where you're going to stick it, it's not going to be too good. Um, this guy, uh, casual jump up on my BF Good Ridges. <laughs> um, yeah, so you've got to make sure spotlessly clean because otherwise stuff will fall off. Um, and these panels actually that I've got don't have uh, bonding with them. They're just literally stick on, which in a way I don't mind because the arches I had to bond on and I had to put quite a bit of bonding on and it was quite messy to, to do. Um, so doing it this way makes a bit of a change. Plus if at a later date I want to take them off, it won't be too hard to do. The van is spotlessly clean now. I'm just driving over the dual carriageway to let it dry out a bit more. And I'm gonna fit these side body mouldings pulled up at a place called Stammer Park um, it's quite a nice area actually reason why I've come over here is because I can drive the van out on the dual carriageway and also fit them here because the problem is where I live the parking space is very tight so I need a bit of room to obviously do the filming um, I'm gonna walk around the van now see how clean it is and uh, do a bit of a before and after shoot as well just to see what the difference is gonna be like You can see here, it's looking nice and clean. Okay. Um, so the idea is, I'm going to get the box out in a minute and then just start getting these panels on. Can't wait. Now this is a box uh, that the kit comes in. Quite a big box. And you can see here, here's where all the mouldings are. Just gonna open it up, take a look and see what we've got. We've got one panel here, and we've got another one just here as well. I assume they're for the sliding doors. Smaller panel, which is obviously gonna be for one of the front doors. And then another one as well, just four panels. Oh, got a fifth on it. I think this must be for where the bottom of the fuel tank or fuel filler cap is. Uh, this little one here, up there. And then we've got some instructions by the looks of things. And a few sachets, which will be primer and some surface cleaner. Now, this is the manual that comes with it some reason it says Volkswagen T6 Sport Line, but I um, don't think that makes any odds. It's just a black and white piece of paper. So let's have a look at the instructions and move on from there. Here we have the instructions. Number one says get your, your van washed with a sponge, which I've done. So step two, it says uh, clean it with the surface cleaner. So I'm going to go around and do that. And step three, it says match the panels up to the vehicle just to make sure, I think. See if they uh, fit where they should. 
apply the primer leave that 10 minutes so what I could do is obviously do the primer one side and then walk around and do the other side and the time I've done that 10 minutes will be up then obviously uh, peel back the sticky covers and then fit the panel oh look there you go little demonstration there so you sort of put the panel on whilst fitting it this is going to be a bit of a doddle I hope push it on and then move on to the next um, okay very straightforward the other thing I was going to say is let's have a quick look at this um, Vorder Montage and Vorderzug so basically what this means is in English is degreasing procedure before fitting accessories which are bonded to the vehicle is necessary to thoroughly clean the area to remove any traces of wax polish or silicon um, so it's basically telling me da, da, da you must use the degreasing sachets which I'm going to do wipe it in one direction only um, I hope they're not talking about the uh, boy band one direction don't want to wipe it on them uh, left to right do not wipe backwards or forwards so basically what we're going to do we're going to just wipe it boom like that Shum. Not they don't want you to go like that that's what they're saying um, ok let's get on with it to start I'm only going to um, clean the metal work where it's going to be stuck there's no point running that surface cleaner around this bit it's just going to be a waste only going to do it really so like for instance where this sticks on I'm only going to wipe the top and the bottom part of the panel um, on the van so yeah I'm just going to give it a wipe all the way along look at the muck coming off of that and I've just had it washed there we go I'll do the bottom as well just making sure I get rid of any of the muck without scrubbing hard so I'm going to do one side at a time um, that's now been cleaned let's see what we're going to do about the primer now because that's going to have to go on and I'm going to have to wait 10 minutes for that so so it's going to take the primer out comes in like a little sponge one part probably should be wearing gloves doing this it's going to wipe that So I believe the purpose of this stuff is obviously to make a nice surface for the, uh, the sticky back on the panels. I'm going to give that 10 minutes. And I'm going to wash my hands because I should have wore gloves while doing that. Um, it's quite sticky. <laughs> Now, whilst I'm waiting 10 minutes for that primer to set, what I'm going to do is do a quick time lapse of the driver's side now. And I'm just going to use the surface cleaner on that. Now it's time for the primer on the driver's side. So I've just got four minutes left till the primer dries. Um, what I do like about uh, the way these panels come delivered is um, they're not just slung in a box, like they're individually packed and they also put um, on the back of it which panel fits what, who's done it. So obviously Colin's trimmed this one, so if you've got any problems you've got to phone Colin, let him know. 
Um, it does say here for T5s and T6s, body moulding covers, left front door number one. So, it should be this one here. Uh, very, 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 very straightforward. So what I'm going to do is just go around and start laying them in position. So the fuel cap, go there. And then we've got another one here, which is... What's that? Right front door, that needs to go the other side. So it must be this big one over here now. Which is, turn that room. Left hand sliding door, number five. It's starting to take place now, look. And then another one here. That can only be the right front door. Leave that there. You can tell I'm trying to use my time wisely whilst I'm waiting. And then the final one, which is right sliding door. Bosh. Time is going off. That is the 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do now is start fitting these panels and talking you through it whilst I'm doing it. So it's going to unwrap the fuel tank one. Just take that apart. And then before I go um, diving in head first, I'm just going to line it up, make sure it's the correct way. And that you can't put it any other way. So yeah, it is that way. So what I'm going to do, peel that one side and then do the same on the other side. Helps if you've got nails. I do have nails, but they're not long enough, I don't think. Right, so I'm just gonna lay that on one side. I'm gonna line it up. It's got like a, a little lip on this side, which appears to be where it's meant to, to go. So I've just pushed that in like you see there. I'm gonna push that side in. Pull the tape back. And there's the first one. Well, I actually can't wait to get these on. It's gonna look so good. Um, I love a bit of plastic trim. So again, just gonna make sure that it lines up to where it should wanna go and then push it back. My door, I think the previous owner who had it um, might have had a bit of a smack because it's not 100% whether the door was banged in a car park or something, I don't know. But it was never that straight when I got it. So this is quite good to be honest because it covers up that mess. Um, and for the price of these, it's a lot cheaper than trying to sort it out, if you know what I mean. Right, so again, with this one, what I'm going to do, just pull back a little bit, and then I'm going to make sure the, the bottom comes down the bottom like that, and the top things out the top, and then line the edging up before I stick it in. The door. Right, make sure that's straight. It looks pretty good. Gonna give that some tension. Just gonna open that door actually just to make sure it's yeah, so we can get positioning. Just gonna start pulling it that back. That's my door that makes that noise. <laughs> um, well, wow, starting to light this. It's looking good. And then what I'm going to do is now I'll do the sliding door. 
So now I'm going to do the sliding door. I think I'm going to pull it back from this way now because it's where the like the end has like a bit of a raised lip on it so I think I'd prefer to get that in place first and then pull it back. Right so I'm going to line it up with the whole door. Let's make sure that's straight before sticking it down. Under there, look. That's like the do with the way the door sits. Right, so that's the driver's side done. Um, weren't too bad to be honest. It's looking really good. As you can see, it's now got a continuation of the bumper, the wheel arch, all of the trims on the side, back to that wheel arch. And I've just done a sliding door test. It does close, which for some reason I'm amazed by. I thought the panels would probably hit each other. So pretty much same again this side. I'm gonna open this plastic up. It's like Christmas. <laughs> um, let's make sure it all, it's my fault, putting it on the grass. Uh, we'll make sure that trim fits nice and neat. Again, line that up before I start fitting it. Then I'm gonna peel back the sticky bit again. Line that up at the back. Mm. I must say this side of the van is a lot nicer. Seems very solid for a, um, a panel which isn't bonded on. So when I did the wheel arches, like I say, they were bonded, but these seem really sturdy. That's on nice and neat. Close that up and then do the door. That's the last panel. Hmm. This is weird, they got the stick around the wrong way on this one. <laughs> Doesn't matter though. Still fits. Perfect. Right, let's get this red tape off. This is the hardest part of the job, I think, taking the, <laughs> the red tape off. <laughs> oh, here we go. Come on. Don't want to go today, do you? All right, finally got the tape off. That took me 45 minutes. <laughs> Only joking. Uh, all right, let's line this one up. Door. Just in there nice and tight. Push that along.
Woohoo! <laughs> and that, my friends, is all done. Right, I'm off. See you later. <laughs> Sweet. So I'm just going to have a quick clear up and then do a final walk round. All right, so that's it. Um, now you've got the selfie stick to contend with while I finish this video off. Basically, um, it's all on, it's all done. And I am over the moon with that. I'm not gonna lie, I think that's one of the most cost-effective purchases I've made on the van, like which gives the most difference um, on the outside. I think that just finishes it so much better than what it looked like before. Let's get you a bit closer down here and look at that. So, yeah, they all went on really well. They're like proper solid on there as well. I can't see them going anywhere. Um, there's a few little things I need to get sorted on my van, which obviously has nothing to do with these, but I'll quickly show you. So, I've got such a like eye for detail, it just things like this annoy me, but I had a new hinge fitted on the driver's side door, um, and you can see at the top, the door doesn't quite make perfectly so what that now means is this sits a little bit lower than that but it's not the end of the world it's just something i notice um so that's me all done today um van's looking amazing now i mean that took me probably no longer than half an hour from start to finish um if you're gonna do it just make sure your van is nice and clean uh what i loved about these as well like i said earlier is the fact that there's no bonding um I, for me i hate bonding um it just gets really messy one thing i've got to do though now is do a you know motorway tests to see how <laughs> to see how long they last hopefully they don't come flying off down the motorway because i ain't feared them right um i'm sure that won't happen but yeah no on a serious note um if you're wondering where i've got these from i've got them from transport hq i've used these guys a few times now um every time i've ordered from them it's like literally arrived next day um top quality service um they've always sent the bits i've ordered and asked for so i can't moan at them at all they're a really good uh, company i've looked on their website they've got loads of different stuff um if I'd have known more about them when I started my van conversion, I probably would have got a lot more bits from them because they seem to be very reasonably priced as well. Um, so yeah, give those guys a shout. I'll leave a link in the description for the body mouldings. Um, and yeah, I don't know what else to say really. I think that's it for today's video. Um, oh, I'm waiting for DHL to turn up today. I've got another delivery, um, which I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet, but it's gonna look really good. I can't wait to do it um it's not a very common modification but yeah you'll soon find out um let me know what you think of the side body moldings i'm going to leave a few before and after shots um now just for you to have a quick look at all right let me know what you think cheers and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up all right <laughs> cheers